Hello, radio. Hello. Model menu. Okay. Hello, radio. Hello. Return. Okay. And now I'm back on the main menu. Guys, in today's video, we're gonna check out our new radio company that has built-in AI in this transmitter as well as voice control and motion control. That means I can move this radio around and control my quadcopter, its pitch and roll from this radio. It has a built-in gyro, it's pretty cool. It is priced about $150 to start. And again, it's very similar to the original Radio Master TX16S. That one right now is about $200, and this one comes in around $150 to start. You can also get a max edition of the Hello Radio V16 that I have here. And again, both have 16 channels, but this one has a little more functionality than what we've previously seen with the TX16 series. But I think this will be really a kind of a game changer for people who have problems with articulating their motor skills with their fingers and they need voice commands. If you need voice prompts, this is pretty cool and I think you're gonna find this amazing. So kick back, relax, and let me walk you through some of the features of the Hello Radio V16. And here's the Hello Radio V16 itself. Again, looking very similar to the TX16 with a few different changes that I'm gonna show you here. It is rumored that the guy who went off and started this company Hello Radio used to work at Radio Master, and so maybe he got permission to use some of the molding because the case on this one looks extremely similar to my Max uh, from Radio Master. So with a few additional changes to this one that kind of make this radio stand out and a little more special than a typical TX16S. So I do have to say it does have changeable LEDs that are already built in. This version, I had to put them in myself, but I do notice that these LEDs are a little bit brighter than the V16, but the V16 has an option and they're already built in. Again, I had to install these and you can change these from sort of a solid light to rainbow and you can also turn off the LEDs. They'll also react to stick movements. Uh, you can also set them to change on a switch, which is also kind of cool. On the back, it looks very similar again to the TX16S. It has the two little feet on the back, the battery bay here supporting up to a 2S5000 Lion pack that they do include with this radio. So that's kind of a good value if you wanna just go ahead and charge it up and start flying the day you get it. That's awesome that you can do that. You also have the full-size JR module bay there. You have some tension adjustments in the very back, as well as kind of plastic grips for your fingers here. And on the side, I did notice that it was a little bit slippery. It's not a rubber grip right here. This is just a plastic grip. Uh, I wish I would have seen this to be a kind of a more soft rubber here because a lot of pilots like the feel of that. Across the top of the radio, the button layout is exactly the same as the TX16S. Just underneath the antenna right here, we have the trainer port and the data port for running your FPV simulators. On the very bottom of the radio, underneath this hatch right here, we have the headphone port, we have a charging USB-C port, UART connections here, and a 512 megabyte SD card that was included. One feature that I found to be a lot of fun was the changeable LEDs. The TX16S from Radio Master doesn't have this, but it starts out in green. If I press two here at the top, it changes it to red. Three changes it to another shade of green there, kind of a brighter green. Four changes it to blue, five rainbow, and six turns it off for people who just don't want to see LEDs there. I kind of get that. I usually don't use my LEDs. And if you want to go back to kind of more subtle, you can also do that. And the sticks, when they, when they move, you can see that the LEDs do change color, which is kind of a cool thing. So um, on red, it doesn't seem to do it, but on mode one here, that's sort of your multicolor. Mode three, it's solid green. Let's see four, solid blue. Five is rainbow animated. And then six again is off. Now we're gonna check out one of the most interesting features, which is AI Assistant. But what's special about AI Assistant is not only that it lets you control the model menus and the menus and the navigation of the radio by your voice, that means that you don't have to use your hands to access the internal menus. 
Friends of mine have disabilities where they can't articulate their fingers. Uh, our good friend Diego, I, I think this would be huge for him because he can go into his model menu and navigate the model menu and even press enter and go up and down, page back, page forward, in the system menu as well as telemetry, all of that from the radio AI voice prompts. And I think that's super cool for people who have disabilities or problems with motor skills. So if that's you, you're watching this video, congratulations, it's 2024, it's finally here for you. So this is, this is so cool for me too. So to activate voice assistant on here, we say, hello radio. And say we want to activate motion control. Okay. Now, once we activate motion control, okay. it will start to move these channel maps. You can see on the pitch right there on channel two. And if we do the roll axis on channel, looks like channel one there. That's pretty cool. You can see those channel maps moving. So now I can fly my quadcopter forward backwards, left, and right. If you're in stability mode, you can fly your quad from your radio. Same thing with an airplane because it will affect the elevator and the aileron channels, which is really, really cool for the RC community. Now, what's also kind of neat is if you're an airplane guy, you can say, hello, radio. Hello. Flaps. And it will lower the flaps or make the flaps go up or down. You can also change and open the landing gear. Say you want to open your landing gear, you say, hello, radio. Hello. Open gear. Okay. And you see that the channel map moved right there. Now, if I want to close it, hello, radio. Hello. Close gear. Close gear. It went back the other direction. And the correct voice prompt for the flaps is, hello, radio. Hello. Open flap. Okay. You can see it did it on channel 15 right there. That is pretty cool. So, hello radio. Hello. Close flap. Close flap. And back to full. And typically in model menu, system menu, and telemetry navigation, we have this jog wheel right here. It is a plastic jog wheel and there's all plastic buttons here. This is the model button, the system. It has the return button, page forward and page back, as well as the telemetry. And again, if I want to use AI assistant, I can say, hello radio. Telemetry. Okay. And it goes to the telemetry radio section. If I want to get out of that, I can say, hello, radio. Hello. Quit. Okay. And it goes back to the main menu. Hello, radio. Hello. Model menu. Okay. Hello, radio. Hello. Return. Okay. And now I'm back on the main menu. And again, a lot of these voice prompts are right in the manual that comes with it. So you can kind of go through these and get used to them. And as they give it updates in the future, I'm sure they're going to be adding new functions and new AI voice commands coming up with a new firmware update. So, I mean, I do know that this radio right now is up for pre-orders. Um, I see it on the Banggood website for $167 for the 4-in-1 multi-protocol version. Um, that's mode two and also ELRS version mode two is 167.99. Uh, the cheapest version of it is standard ELRS at $153 and the V16 Max with ELRS or four in one is 246.99. So it's actually just a little bit cheaper than my original TX16 uh, Max edition here. It doesn't have quite as many uh, physical bells and whistles on it like leather side grips and the foldable kickstand which I like but I think that the AI voice commands and uh, motion control things like that it's nice to see new options and sort of kind of futuristic options compared to what we had in the past in the RC community and I think it's great that they're incorporating the AI voice assistant into this so people with disabilities it's going to get easier for you guys to get uh, into your model menus now and navigate and make changes on the fly without having to ask for help. I think that's huge uh, for, for people with disabilities. So I, I, I commend Hello Radio for Hello. taking this step, Hello, uh, to do that for the RC community. I think it's freaking fantastic. So uh, I appreciate you for watching this review and overview of Hello Radio. Hello. Hello. Uh, every time I say that, the voice prompt comes back in. It's so cool. 
but I will definitely see you guys on the next one. And you can check out the link down below uh, to Banggood's website. That's where the pre-orders are up right now. If you decide you want to get a V16 regular ELRS 4-in-1 or the Max Edition. Uh, I think it's pretty cool. And I'll show you some more stuff coming up. Maybe we'll go outside and fly an airplane with this and do some uh, motion-controlled uh, AI-assisted flying with a built-in gyro. Pretty neat. Some neat functions. But again, I appreciate you guys watching. I'm Justin Davis. Take care, and I will see you on the next one.